What is the latest in clinical trials to boost survival rates? There are a number of clinical trials going on now that can help with that. Our standard of care now, if the original immunotherapy, these so-called PD-1 pathway blocking agents, and there's at least three of them that are available for Merkel, if that doesn't work, the standard of care now is to do something called ipinevo, which is ipilimumab plus nivolumab, and that will help about a third of those patients who are no longer benefiting. It's controversial, but maybe around a third will benefit. Often that benefit is temporary, and unfortunately it certainly comes with significant cost, but it also comes with quite high toxicity. At least 60% of patients will have serious autoimmune side effects by taking that combination, that kind of number. So that's where we are now. We can't help 70%, 30% of these people with refractory Merkel get transient at least help and it causes a lot of toxicity. So there are many trials that are trying other clever new combinations of drugs and I'm confident that we're gonna make progress beyond that, where we are now. But how quickly it'll come is and which, which is going to be the most effective is tricky, but there are many approaches that are being taken. The melanoma vaccine is very encouraging. It's currently being given in the setting of with, with regular immunotherapy, and it does seem to increase the chance that regular immunotherapy will work. And I think it's very plausible that something similar will work in Merkel. The melanoma people have actually tackled the harder part of the Merkel problem. We have Merkel that's caused by the Merkel cell polyomavirus in about 80% of cases. And we have Merkel that's caused by ultraviolet sun damage in the remainder. The polyomavirus part is sort of easier because every single patient with Merkel caused by the virus could use the same vaccine a vaccine against the virus that stimulates the immune system. In contrast, what they did for melanoma and what we would need to do for the Merkel patients who have the sunlight-induced cancers is a full sequencing of that person's cancer, finding what has been changed and mutated by the sunlight and would then be visible to the immune system. In other words, the unique parts of the cancer that are different from the rest of the patient's body, then you develop a vaccine to that. And there are fancy computer bioinformatic DNA sequencing ways to do that now fast, like in two weeks. They can sequence it, they can make a vaccine in essentially a matter of a few weeks, and then put that into the person. And that is a much bigger challenge than the, than the virus one, but that now theoretically is working. Um, they have to try it out in other settings and see if it works and then you know get a business plan and such. But eventually, I think it's very plausible that that will be useful for the virus negative people. What we're hoping to do is for the virus positive people, make a vaccine that would turn on an immune response to the pieces of the virus that make the cancer grow. And thus, if you get an immune response against that piece of the virus, you will kill the cancer. That is what we're hoping to do. What are the clinical trials that are happening in 2023? And how does someone join them? The clinical trials going on right now change every day, which is a problem and an exciting thing. Uh, perhaps not literally every day for the most exciting ones, but clinicaltrials.gov is one place to go. It can be a little bit overwhelming. There are a few other resources that we can share with folks as well. The high level is it changes. You need to talk to your doctors, stay connected with the community. The patient networks are great ways to stay connected with uh, current uh, trials and, and developments. And yeah, I don't think I have a, a simple answer. Uh, there are today over 50 trials that list Merkel cell carcinoma as an inclusion criteria. 
probably only 10% of those, maybe five, are really totally focused on Merkel.